At Headlight Revolution, we've been doing a ton of vehicle-specific shootouts on every truck, car, and SUV that we can get our hands on. And today, I finally got a 2011 to 2016 Ford Super Duty in the shop. I'm gonna show you guys step-by-step step what bulbs do well in this headlight, which bulbs to avoid, and then I'm gonna show you guys how you can do this install at home using basic hand tools. So, let's get the truck taken apart, and let's start looking at what bulbs perform well in your Ford Super Duty. The way we do our headlight bulb testing on this channel is by using a digital lux meter. This gives us the best possible representation of how bright or how dim a particular set of headlight bulbs are. Now it's not always about brightness. Sometimes you'll get a very bright bulb with a terrible beam pattern and that's not going to help you either. So what we're trying to do here is find something that's got an identical to stock beam pattern, not a ton of glare, we don't want to be flashed by oncoming traffic, and we want a brighter headlight bulb option. In the next segment of this video, I'm gonna show you guys a few of the bulbs that we tested, and I'm gonna talk about the beam patterns themselves and why you might choose one over the other. Now this is what our factory Super Duty low beam looks like. This is the halogen H13 bulb, and this came in at 140 maximum lux. We've got a nice hot spot, a little bit of flood left and right. What we're gonna try to do is brighten up this beam pattern without picking up too much glare. We don't want to blind oncoming traffic. Let's check out the factory high beam. Factory high beam on the Ford Super Duty came in at 360 maximum lux, and it's not too terrible. With H13 bulbs, usually you pick up a little bit of flood. It does diffuse the light a little bit, but this is pretty normal. Once again, we're gonna to try to brighten it up, but retain this factory beam pattern. Here we have an ox beam H13 LED bulb, and this came in at 290 maximum lux. Now, 290 is brighter than the factory 140, and that's kind of why I picked this bulb. I wanted to show you guys that while this bulb is brighter, it is not a better bulb. Check out the beam pattern. You don't wanna drive with something like this. We've got a weird divide going on. It's not putting the light where we need it, and we do not resemble our factory beam pattern in any way. Let's check out the high beam. The high beam came in at 300 maximum lux. As you can see, it fills in that center section, but it's still not that desirable. So let's keep going with our test. Here we have the Morimoto two-stroke bulb, and this one makes its way to our comment sections on almost every video. We had to include it, and it did pretty well in this headlight. As you can see, we do have a cutoff line. We don't have that weird divide we saw with the other bulbs. This isn't a bad option. Let's check out the high beam. The Morimoto two-stroke high beam came in at 700 maximum lux. As you can see, there was some diffusion with the high beam though. Like I said, with these H13 bulbs and these H13 housings, we've seen this on other vehicles. To see it on the Super Duty 2 is no surprise, but I wouldn't mind finding a better high beam option. Next up is the SV4 bulb. This one has been on our channel quite a few times. It's always been a solid performing H13 bulb, and as you can see in the 11 to 16 Ford Super Duty headlight, it came in at 680 maximum lux. It looks good on the wall. We've got a nice amount of flood left and right. Definitely not a bad option. Let's check out high beam. The SV4 bulb's got a pretty good looking high beam. Honestly, this would be a very drivable, usable beam pattern. Let's keep going with our testing and see if we can do any better. Here we've got the Op7 Flux Beam H13 LED bulb, and as you can see, it is brighter. It came in at 210 maximum lux, and the stock lux number was 140, but it's still not an upgrade when we're looking at the beam pattern. We've got a weird divide. In my opinion, this isn't something I would want to drive with. Now, when we flip this bulb over to high beam, as you can see, it got 36% less bright. We did fill in the missing section in the middle. It is now lit up, but honestly, this still isn't an ideal beam pattern. It's not very bright. Let's find something better. Here we have the GTR Lighting Ultra Series 2 bulb, and this one came in with a low beam of 790. I would say out of all the bulbs we've tested, this one mimics the factory beam pattern extremely well. As you can see, we've got a hot spot in the middle. We've got a lot of flood left and right. It's gonna look really nice. Bear in mind, we're only testing one headlight at a time here, and so if you had two of these headlights flying down the road at the same time, you're gonna have a lot of fill, you're gonna have a lot of light exactly where it needs to be. So far, this is the bulb that I would choose for my Super Duty if I had one. Here we have the GTR Lighting Ultra 2 high beam, and as you can see, it flips that light up exactly where we need it. If you're flying down a dark road at night, this is going to put the light exactly where you want it. Honestly, I highly recommend this bulb. So the hard part of the testing is now done. You probably have an idea what bulb you wanna run. Now it's just up to you to decide what kind of warranty you want, what kind of manufacturer you wanna go with. Whatever you choose, I'm gonna show you guys how to get it installed in your Ford Super Duty. Now, if you don't need my help for this segment, we've got a lot of other Ford Super Duty content on our channel. Reverse lights, fog lights, cargo lights, you name it. So if you need any other help for this truck, you wanna see more content like this, click the subscribe button, like the channel, and we'd love to show it to you. 
For those of you that need help installing the bulbs, follow me. You can do this at home with basic hand tools. Now the first step in getting to the headlight bulbs on this truck is popping the hood. And we are going to have to remove the grill today. There are four 10 millimeter bolts across the top of the grill here. I'll show you exactly where they're at. Then you're going to need a long flat screwdriver to access some clips down low. Remove these bolts like so. Now at this point you can pull the grill toward you just like this and you're going to find that the bottom is still held in place by some metal clips. Easiest way to get those things to release is using a long screwdriver like this one and you can just reach back behind the grill. There's a little opening and you can press in on them and as you can see that just released. Work your way across from left to right, doing that for each of them. So this is hard to see in person and it's even harder to get a video clip of. but. Essentially what you're doing, you've got clips here that start on one side of the grill and go across. There are five total. Press in on it, it's going to release from the bumper and you can pull the grill away from the truck. There are four bolts holding this headlight in. There's one up top, there's two on the side here, and there's one below the headlight. Now it's very easy for the one below the headlight to fall when you loosen it, so just keep that in mind. You don't want to go fishing around with the bumper for it. Starting with the bolt on the top, remove the two on the side. So here's that bottom bolt I was telling you guys about, and as you can see, it's in there a little ways. It's easy to drop it, try not to. Just like that. At this point, you can pull the headlight down like this toward you, and it's gonna unclip from the truck, and now you can unplug the wire connections in the back. Now, this video is a headlight bulb shootout video. We're talking about headlights for your Ford Super Duty, but I just had to show you guys this while I'm in here. This is exactly how we found the truck. As you can see, somebody has spliced in a resistor for an LED turn signal. They left it kind of a mess, and honestly, we see this a lot with a lot of turn signal kits available on the market today. Amazon and eBay, whatever, they're 20 bucks, they're 40 bucks. This isn't what you want in your truck. This is gonna give you issues in the future, not to mention these resistors get very hot. You don't want it electrical taped to your factory wire harness. We've got a bulb, the Carbide CAN Bus 2.0 by GTR Lighting. It is plug and play. You don't need a resistor. You don't need to splice wiring. You don't need to heat shrink anything, electrical tape anything. It is plug and play and it just works. If you wanna avoid all this, you wanna update your turn signals, we've got a video on it. Definitely wanna check it out. This is your headlight wire connector right here. Go ahead and unplug that. You can just press in on the tab on the bottom. And finally, we've got our factory H13 halogen bulb here. Twist it counterclockwise, pop it out. And at this point, you can install whichever H13 LED bulb you'd like to go with from our shootout results. Now I hope this video brightened up your day a little bit. If you need any other help with your Ford Super Duty, we've got a lot of other products for these things. We've got a lot of videos coming out on them and I'd love to hear from you guys. So please comment below if you have any questions, concerns, if you see a bulb that you'd like tested. I'm one of the guys that reads and responds to the comments and I'd love to hear from you. Don't forget to click subscribe, especially if you've got a Super Duty like this one. We've got a couple surprises for you guys coming out next.